In Brian's suicide note and confession, he mentions his parents multiple times, writing, I am sorry to my family. This is a shock to them as well. A terrible grief. They loved as much, if not more than me, a new daughter to my mother, an aunt to my nephews. Please do not make this harder for them. This occurred as an unexpected tragedy. I rushed home to spend any time I had left with my family. I wanted to drive north and let James or TJ kill me, but I wouldn't want them to spend time in jail over my mistake, even though I'm sure they would have liked to. I'm ending my life not because of a fear of punishment, but rather because I can't stand to live another day without her. I'm sorry for everyone's loss. Please do not make life harder for my family. They lost a son and a daughter, the most wonderful world, girl in the world. Gabby, uh, I am sorry. Well, earlier today, I had the opportunity to sit down with Petito uh, family attorney Patrick Riley for an interview about the letter and the lawsuit. Uh, this is some of that conversation. Mr. Riley, um, this, uh, this new letter from Roberta Laundrie was entered into, into the court docket with the case, basically explaining the, the burn after reading letter. Um, what do you make of her explanation? Well, it's, it's interesting that this is the first time she chooses to speak up, and that's in this affidavit in support of the motion to keep us from getting the letter. Uh, I have a couple of thoughts about the letter. Number one, I think it's very self-serving. Uh, if, if I had written a letter that contained the language that's in that letter, I'd want as quickly as possible to try to explain it away and justify it. And, and that's what she's doing. And number two, I don't know that it makes a great deal of sense um, to suggest that she's pulling these thoughts and out of children's books, which certainly don't say what she said in the letter. I'm not really sure uh, what she's trying to explain by that. So it's a very interesting affidavit uh, with some very interesting statements in it. Yeah, it was it was strange, like referencing these books like Runaway Bunny and Little Bear and then uh, a book uh, called Burn After Writing that she claims that Gabby gave Brian. Like it was a little hard to follow. Um, what I would assume her lawyer helped her write the letter, but I, I found it a little hard to follow what she was like trying to say. Yeah, I, I was the same way. In fact, I, I, I don't know, maybe when my kids were younger, I read those books to them, but I don't remember them. So I looked them up to see what they said. And number one, I can't believe, uh, I can't imagine that um, Roberta Laundrie and Christopher, uh, uh, Brian Laundrie had a conversation about these children's books around the time this letter was written. Number two, as I said, that, Children's books don't say anything close to what she said in her letter. Do you think we'll see the actual letter? Will it come out um, during the trial? I think the letter will come out before the trial. We're gonna. I, I will file uh, or request a hearing on their motion for a protective order. Uh, my argument to the court's going to be that this is clearly relevant to the issues of the case because knowledge of whether or not Gabby was alive when the statement was made by Attorney Bertolino on behalf of the Laundries is key. Um, and if this letter, if it's if the jury determines that this letter wasn't written uh, before Gabby's murder, but was written after Gabby's letter uh, or after Gabby's murder, then that certainly solidifies the case. But I think it's up to the jury to judge the credibility of Roberta Laundry and determine when this letter was written. Why not just release the letter along with the explanation? I mean, if if you're her lawyer, wouldn't that make sense? Just you could have her explanation and then attach the letter because this almost just creates more rumors and more speculation. I agree. Uh, I don't understand why she. We know based on what I've read in the letter about the language about helping to bury the body and bringing a shovel. Now she's giving us perhaps a little bit more of what's in the letter. I, I agree with you. Just show it to us. How much more harm could it possibly do at this point? So you saw the letter briefly, right, at, at yes. the FBI office, and you saw something to do with, what was it again, bury the body? Bring a shovel and help bury the body. Which she doesn't reference in this explanation. She does not. Do you think other evidence that we don't know about, um, about the laundries, will come out during the trial? I don't know that it would come out during the trial. I think it would come out through the discovery process. And we're just we're just in the very beginning stages of that. I don't haven't had a chance to take their deposition at this point. Uh, I need the FOIA request information before we can do that. I need that letter. So we're probably still months away from a deposition. Will this actually go to trial? I mean, do you still think that's how this all this all ends with an actual jury trial? I do think it will. I just don't think it's going to happen in uh, June as it's scheduled because of all the delays that we've had. And Mr. Bertolino now also named in the lawsuit. Will, will it all be one trial with the laundry parents and Bertolino? 
It will. So they all have to, they would all have to be there together. Yes. Um, it, it just, it's hard to imagine, you know, after everything that the Petitos have been through, um, it's going to be them in a courtroom with the laundries and Bertolino, um, you know, all this time later with this new information coming out. Um, it, it just seems like it's going to be a lot for them to handle. It will. And when things like this affidavit come out with the things that are in there, I can tell you that um, Nicole Schmidt was really offended by the fact that Roberta Laundrie attempted to utilize Gabby to defend herself, but kept her uh, kept quiet while they were searching for Gabby's body. That is certainly going to be a very, very interesting trial uh, when it happens again to think of the Petitos. Bertolino and the Laundries on the same courtroom with all of this new information uh, coming out. We'll obviously be covering it very, very closely. My thanks to Pat Riley uh, for speaking with us earlier today. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.